love finding those but no two of them look alike i've got an indian head i've already got it out and uh, cleaned it off somewhere i can get a date it's an 1889 i've got a suspender clip i've never found one like this may have found me another button spot yay boy at at pro's getting deep here today of different hunts in uh, today's video I work a couple of uh, sites that I've already worked by myself and then me and my hunting partner Mike Turner we get back together and go to a new site and uh, we make some pretty good finds there he has a real good find that you'll see here in just a moment right to the left of those two trees right there and two rows of hay the left tree I found a seeded and then right to the left of it I found a seeded and a couple of things have changed at this site. Here's all the hay rolls right here, and they've moved a bunch of these out of the way. Plus, we've got a real good rain. And I'm hunting right now where the hay was sitting, and I've got a suspender clip. I've never found one like this. That's a strange one there. It's amazing how many different varieties of suspender clips that there are. I like it. Out of that hole right there, I've got some kind of an overall button here. Can't tell what kind of pattern it's got. Can almost see it. I'll get it cleaned up. I don't know about six inches deep probably I got part of a spoon or fork handle I'd say probably a spoon I'll take it fairly shallow hole right there and uh, I've got a uh, little buck ball here this black dirt kind of changes the patina on these. They're not real white. But that's another buck, 31 caliber. I'll take it. Cold this morning. Out of that hole right there. I've got an Indian head. I've already got it out and uh, cleaned it off somewhere I could get a date. It's an 1889. You can tell that there's been fertilizer in this field. It's pretty crusty. Probably about as clean as it's going to get, but first good find here today. I'm up on a uh, spot that I've hunted before. Hunted this with Dave, American Coin Hunting. He found a real up here. See what else we can find. That hole there is about seven inches deep and uh, I believe this is the first flat button that has come off of this site shank is broke off I apologize for the wind it's 34 degrees and the wind blowing like crazy that's a good find right there I'll take it check it out guys I've got another flat iron no handle on it. The other one that I had didn't have a handle either. That's a great relic find right there. That's an oldie. I'm just working this little mound right in here. I found the, the Indian and found the flat button right over in there and I'm just working right here. And I've got about a six inch hole right here. And uh, I've got a, uh, I've got a flat button here. Big old greeny. 
Oh yeah, it's gonna have a shake. Oh yeah. I can't see the screen for the glare of the sun. Can't tell if it's in focus. I hope it is. That's a nice one right there. I may have found me another button spot. Yay! I want to do a shout out today to my buddy Dinger51. You see his channel there on your screen. He's always commenting on my videos and I certainly do appreciate that. It's another one of those Ohio boys, so you know that he finds some good stuff. So check him out, Dinger51. Like, subscribe, and share. Be sure and tell him that Seven sent you. Out of that hole there, it's probably about five inches. I've got a harmonica read. It's, it's bent over, and there's still another signal down in the hole. Probably another piece of harmonica read. That's a good screaming signal right there. I don't know how anybody would have missed that. But uh, we've had a lot of rain and so it's a little deeper. I take it on down the hill a ways, but I've got another piece of a harmonica reed. It may be off the same harmonica, I don't know. I'm on down the hill probably 15, 20 foot, maybe a little bit more than that. I'll take another. One. I thought I had an eagle button here, but it's not. It was an iron back button, so it's probably not 1800s. If it is, it's real late 1800s. Uh, I'm sure it's a civilian button. I can't tell. I had to get the front cleaned up. That's an old piece right there. It's part of an umbrella. When at top of an umbrella, or as they used to say, a parasail. That's a nice little find right there. You're not going to believe it, but I have just been working probably a 25 foot square right here all day long. And out of that hole there, it was pretty deep. I've got a uh, part of a uh, suspender clip. Part of that, I believe, is gone. But that's a good find. I love finding those but no two of them look alike. <laughs> I'll take that one. I may have to start counting those this year. I got a little brass buckle there. That's a pretty little butt, uh, buckle. How about a shoe buckle? I don't know. I found one pretty similar to that up at that George Allred house. It, it was a little smaller than this. It's neat. Could be a cap or something other too, or a hat band buckle. I don't know, but I'll take it this morning. Up here hunting a old site, me and Mike, that we've hunted before, just kind of coming back through and trying to uh, pick out some of these iffy signals. We first thought this was a piece of brass with uh, some rivets in it, but it's some kind of brooch and those are stones I doubt they're diamonds but pretty broke off right up there but that's a good find I like that Mike's got a real fancy range guide here I've never seen one exactly like that but it's brass and uh, now that come off of something fancy either uh a wagon or a, uh, they would have a harness on a horse. That hole right there is at least nine inches deep and I've got some kind of a little pin or brooch or something and it was right in the bottom of that hole. Rang up fairly good. Boy at AT Pro's getting deep here today. I like it. Out of that hole right there, it's been a while since I found one of these. It's a uh, Model T valve stem. Boy, it may ring up good. I thought that was going to be a can. That's a good find. <laughs> Thank you.
I thought I'd share a story with you about the Model T. It was a car that was made by Henry Ford and the Ford Motor Company from 1908 to 1927. In 1914, Henry Ford made an announcement that shocked everybody. In fact, the financial editor of the New York Times said he was crazy. He said that because Henry Ford announced that he was going to raise the daily wages of his employees from $2.34 a day to $5. Well, it worked. In 1914, he produced 308,000 Model T Fords, more than all other car makers combined that year. The next year, 1915, he produced 501,000 Model Ts. By 1920, he sold a million cars that year. But there was another reason why Henry Ford did this. He said one's own employees ought to be one's own best customer. And it was said that later, after this decision had been made, that the Ford factory parking lot would be full of Ford cars, all driven by Ford employees.